It's Natasha Red here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Regal Royals. If you have not yet hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on future episodes and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of the episode. Also click the link in the eye if you haven't seen last week's episode that was the farewell ball in Newcrest and that would actually give context into the machinima that you just saw. Let's go on ahead and get into the episode. So as you guys just saw Siren has run off and we had mentioned a couple times in the past that you know Siren really needed a new environment and she needed to leave this toxicity behind so Siren has basically decided she is not staying here anymore she cannot do it anymore she doesn't really want to be in Newcrest right now all these different houses have lights on them to celebrate the monarchy's arrival back home after being gone for so long and Siren was was kind of nervous and wanted to talk to Brayden and Adeline about what happened and her opportunity was kind of ruined. So we're gonna go find out where Siren is. As you can see, Tanya is very furious. She literally is like enemies with her daughter. She's like, screw her, even a stuffed animal. I didn't even know you could have negative relationships with stuffed animals. Dislikes video gaming? Yeah, we could say that she dislikes video gaming. Then why are you video gaming? Mean. That is the face of a Karen, everyone. Okay, you guys, so our quest to find Siren has landed us in San Myshuno. And I think that it's very fitting that it's raining right now because she is quite sad and depressed, as we'll see in a moment. So this is a day and a half later. Siren said, you know what? I need to get out of the country. Let me go to the city. Let me try to find the cheapest apartment. And let's just check out the interior. She doesn't have much money. I would say that all the money that she she does have is from her being a socialite and doing stuff like on Simstagram because she doesn't have a job either so now she's gonna have to get a job to make ends meet but she felt like getting away and coming to the city would be a means for her to kind of discover who she is and make decisions for herself and kind of reclaim her life. She and Prince Brayden now have a very negative relationship. We could say that for now so Siren probably feels like they're no longer friends at this point because, you know, the conversation got super heated and Brayden had made it seem like he wanted to talk and kind of like figure out what was going on. Like, why was she acting this way? But really, Brayden didn't give her much of a chance to talk. He kind of just went off on her. So she's like F everything and everyone. Let's check out her lot traits. Needs TLC, creepy crawlies, and no royals or nobles allowed. So I put that trait there because she really doesn't want her mother or any of the royals knowing where she's at. I do believe that it would eventually get out because she is, I would say, mild celebrity. She's a socialite. She's known for the new crest clout, you know. Um, so it would eventually get out where she is. But she begged the apartment people like, you know, let me just get your cheapest place. And I'm sure that her being Siren Antagona, she got the place 
place pretty quickly and it's gonna need a lot of work <laughs> if she's gonna stay here because it looks a hot mess and I did only change like very minor things to it but it looks very undesirable to say the least so siren is going to be getting a job okay so that job is going to be an interior decorator because siren feels like she needs to have a means to kind of be creative and just figure out who she is as a person and i would say that you know although her apartment looks a mess right now i would say that siren is a baddie she knows fashion she knows style she always looks good so i think that possibly that could translate to how she does with her new job so let's see select a gig when could she start working oh she could start working as soon as tomorrow period okay so i think that maybe siren wait what fuko is trying to text her sorry to come by without giving you a notice fuko didn't pop up though this lot is set to no nobles and royals allowed so that's interesting but he said in his text do you want to spend time together and i think that fuko is probably the last thing on siren's mind right now if anything she's probably a little upset feeling like well well, you're the straw that broke the camel's back you know so okay Siren's going out where is she going where are you going girl oh she's gonna play in the rain oh that's nice I haven't really played much in San Maishuno just yet I don't know where she's at where'd she go wait what okay it seems like Siren's trying to cheer herself up a little bit I think that Siren deserves to do something a little bit fun since this new update came out with the music festival I thought what a more perfect way to not only let siren have fun but we can test out the festival to see if it actually works okay so i'm pretty sure everybody and their mama's already heard about the festival at this point but in case you haven't they have actual artists bb rexa glass animals and joy Oladokin performing in magnolia blossom park in willow creek we're definitely gonna have siren go to that i think that she would probably be a little bit hesitant because like i just finished saying that she wants to be far away from the royals but she's got to have a little bit of fun you know what i'm saying hopefully siren will have a good time i don't know if any royals will show up that would be really awkward if they did because i'm sure now that the new crests are back they've probably met with the sultan and sultana king and queen of willow creek and word might have gotten out about what happened at that party amongst the royals. It wouldn't get out to the public because there was no paparazzi there, but it definitely would, you know, word would travel around the royals, so. So the music symbol shows up, which I was wondering if it would actually still work being that I've changed my lot, but I'm glad that they thought about the fact that people would change up their game some. I don't know why I didn't think that they would think about that. Okay, so we are following Siren to the festival this is so exciting you guys the game needs some new creative stuff so i think this is great let's see how it's gonna actually work though oh okay let's check it out oh nice okay oh siren's bored <laughs> i can't she's not feeling it just yet but she just got here why did it take her an hour to walk over well to run over here i think that they said you can purchase shirts oh why are the stalls not open i thought you were supposed to be able to purchase stuff from the stalls but nobody's here yet and it's one o'clock they said that it started at 12 huh the weather has gotten nicer so that's awesome i guess mother nature said we'll have a nice weather for this festival what is she doing i'm weak not posing sexy okay maybe She's feeling herself because, you know, she's excited for the little festival, period. We love to see it. Can she go in a tent? Okay, freshen up. Plan outfits. Okay, so this doll is now functioning and it has different options of buy swag, buy and change into festival shirts and buy shirts. Let me see what swag they have because what swag would they offer at a festival other than the shirt? Oh, nothing necessarily unique to, I guess th that would add like realism for if you were actually like at a festival because some people camp out at them. But okay, Siren doesn't need any of that. She's only going to be here for a few hours. Let's have her buy and change into a shirt. L let's see, BB Rexa, Joy Oladokin, and Glass Animals. My sister likes Glass Animals, so we'll have her buy uh, Glass Animals. Oh, look at Pastor Hampton. Okay, Pastor Hampton. Um, let's have her buy oh no 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 not swag 
let's have her buy a BB Rexa shirt too. BB Rexa shirt and a Joy shirt. So she can have at least all three. When is the act gonna come though? Like, come on now. That's a little bit disappointing. I don't know if that's a glitch. Who is the people showing up naked? I'm, I'm a little disappointed because I was hoping that she could actually enjoy the festival. Okay, people are gathering around. So maybe they're gonna get started, maybe. Oh, Bokin decided to show up. That would be a little bit awkward for Siren, I think. Okay, yay, 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 it's starting. Okay, usually I don't play with the sound on but i wanted to see how this would be oh that was kind of um rough she sounds beautiful singing but sounds kind of glitchy oh siren's fangirly what why does it say she's bored though can she interact oh dance near stage okay let's have her do that i feel like that dancing doesn't really match the song oh marky duncan is also here you know that he's probably low-key judging Siren. <laughs> like, oh, she has the nerve to show her face here. I like that there's interactions for the actual artist without being able to disrupt. Oh no, is she gonna... I don't want her to get on stage. Oh, this is kind of really cute. I just wish that the audio sounded better. Okay, so I just panned out for a second. So I won't fault the Sims team for that audio discrepancy because I just decided to press pause on my recording to see if it still sounded like that and then it sounded perfect. And then going back with the recording on, the audio was very choppy again. Let's see if it has fixed itself now. Yeah. So I think it's for some reason my recorder is making the audio choppy, which is odd. <gasps> oh, Adeline is here. Oh, and she's getting texts from Fuko. So maybe it wasn't the best idea for her to come here, but I think she's going to try her best to keep her distance from everyone. Let's see Adeline's temperament. Temperament. Maybe Adeline's here to genuinely enjoy. But you know she low-key came because of Siren. Okay, so she's done, period. Oh, that is so cute. It's a shame that my recorder is messing up the audio so though. Because I was thinking it would be nice to stay and see other performances. But like, what's the point if it's going to sound like crap? <laughs> Maybe we'll see one more. I just want to see if like, would they play the next person like right away? Or what? I don't know. Oh, people are starting to leave. So maybe not. That is so interesting. Okay, looks like Adeline is leaving. She decided not to confront her. And she seems like she was in a good mood. But I feel like... Oh, Oh, she hasn't left just yet. I strongly feel like Adeline would come solely to keep an eye out for Siren. Okay, and Siren came over here to order food and Adeline is right there. So I wonder if maybe Siren came over here to see like, is she gonna approach me? Should I possibly talk to her about what happened? Does she even know what Brayden said? Like, cause she would say that she's, well, I think after what happened in Komarebi, everybody's kind of keeping their distance from her a little bit. And that would kind of hinder her relationships with everyone. But I would say she's decently like a step above acquaintances with Adeline. But it seems like maybe they're both kind of hesitant to approach each other. I definitely think it would be scary for Siren to approach Adeline, especially. Oh, especially with Bokan going over there. Yeah, she probably wouldn't. And Fuko needs to leave her alone. She's not thinking about Fuko right now. Oh, okay. Siren's going back over. Oh, so is Adeline. Okay, so I guess that must mean another artist is getting ready to come on let's see who's gonna be next interestingly enough siren and adeline are standing right next to each other how awkward is that you guys how freaking awkward uh, and every time adeline looks over siren looks the other way they i think they want to say something to each other but they're acting bashful like Ooh, i don't know that i should oh and siren left she's like let me break this tension up let me go look at these delectable looking snow globes that i know good and well i'm not about to purchase interesting guys so this is the same night of the festival and we have princess jewel 
duel here with her cousin, Lady Lydia, and her bestie, Lady Amy, who is Adeline's sister. Which, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with the characters, I do have a character list that I do keep updated pinned in the comments as well as in the description bar. And with that, you can not only get to know the character, know how old they are, know who they're related to, who their love interest is, and whatever, but you can also find out some kind of quirky facts about some of them that may not be really emphasized much in the actual series itself that can help you understand them a bit better. But the girls decided to have a little get together and Jewel, I hate this angle that they're at because if I turn around, they're okay. Oh, that works. Yeah. So they're just chatting as girlfriends do. Oh, Clara decided to come over. <laughs> that's cute but they're all just chatting I guess Claire just came over to come over but the girls the teens per se are chatting about Jewel's time in Komarebi and they are asking Jewel about how it was meeting the others royals she's telling them a lot about Dayu and Ming Mei and how she thinks that the girls will really enjoy those two ladies and she is like so y'all have to help me plan this event so that I can get to know Tony better. So they're probably just catching up on several months worth of tea, you know, and Clara probably came over to help her sister because, you know, she and Jewel were talking about it a lot and Clara just thought it was so cute that she has a little crush. Her little sis is a grown up. I do think that it's odd though <laughs> that Claire is over here kind of because like most older adults wouldn't want to be hanging out with the teens. Plus, us, she most definitely has some catching up to do with Ajmal that she could be addressing. So that's interesting that she's over here. But yeah, guys, it looks like they're going to just continue discussing stuff and just catching up as girlfriends do. So we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. This is a more like, this is a more wild, I would say, a uh, more chaotic episode and sometimes we'll have episodes like that where we don't have a whole bunch going on it's nice to have some a little bit more chill and relaxed so that is going to be it for today's episode let me know what you think about the machinima and siren's new place unfortunately the concert didn't go exactly as i hoped i apologize for that i will try to figure that out in case something happens in the future where i need audio and then what do you think about jewel planning an event so she can try to get to know Tony better because she has a crush on him. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.